All right. So in this video, we're gonna get started with the blues. So check this out. We've got three new chords for you, but they're related to some of the chords that we already know. We've already learned A, D, and E. So for the blues, we're gonna play A7, D7, and E7. So check this out. For A7, what you're going to do is, either way you are fingering it, either with 2, 3, 4, or with 1, 2, 3, you're going to remove whatever finger you had on the third string and let that string ring open. That's going to give you A7. Let's check out each string, make sure it's sounding good. All right, sounds good. So that's A7. Now check this out. I would suggest Give this a try. Rather than using your second and fourth finger or your first and third, I like to use my second and third. And the reason for that is it's going to make it real easy for you to switch to our next chord, D7. You can just take these two fingers, move them to first and third string, and then add the first finger on the second string on the first fret, and it gives you D7. Check that out. A7, D7. Why don't you give that a try for this video? Let's go ahead and do that. So we've got A7 with our second and third finger. Now let's make our D7. So move both of these fingers from the fourth and second strings to the third and first strings. Just slide them down, same fret. Then add your first finger to the first fret of the second string. And now that makes it real easy to switch back and forth between these two chords. And you're gonna be doing that a lot when we play through the 12 bar blues. So just give that a try. Play A7, then play D7, then back to A7, and then back to D7. Feel free, you could even pause right now and just do that for a little bit. A7, D7, A7, D7. Like I said, you're gonna have to do that a lot. Finally, the third chord that we have is E7. So what I suggest is go ahead and make the E chord that we learned, which is gonna look like this. Second finger on the second fret of the fifth string, third finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and first finger on the first fret of the third string. All other strings open. Now what you're gonna do, similar to what we did with the A7 chord, we're gonna remove a finger. In this case, it's the third finger. Now our fourth string is open, and that gives us E7. Real quick, let's make sure all those strings are ringing clearly, although it does sound like it already. Sounds great. So now we have A7, we've got D7, and we've got E7. So real quick, before we get into this 12 bar blues, which is um, a 12 measure form, let's just take those three chords real quick and go through them, all right? Let's just do one measure each um, let's try quarter notes, all right? So A7, one measure, D7, one measure, E7, one measure, all right? Here we go, one, two, ready, go. So all down strokes, we switch to D7, and then let's go to E7. Great, let's just try that one more time, all right? A7. D7, and then E7, and we can finish up on A7. Okay, so let's talk about what's going to happen with this 12 bar blues, okay? So we're going to start with our A7, we're going to do that for one measure, 
followed by d7 for 1. Then the um, changes happen a little bit uh, slower. We're going to do a7 for 2 measures. Followed by d7 for 2. Followed by a7 for 2. All right? Why don't we just try that right now? All right? All quarter notes. One, two, ready, and so remember we've got a quick change to D7, then right back to A7 for two measures. And now we've got another two measures of D7. And then finally, two more measures of A7. Great. So that's the first eight measures of the form. We've got four more measures. It gets a little trickier here because now we're going to change chords every measure. We're going to go E7, D7, A7, and then back to E7. All right? So let's give that a try. One measure each, starting with E7. One, two, ready, go. So we've got E7. D7, A7, E7. So if you put those two parts together, we're going to have the entire 12 bar blues. I'll review one more time. We've got a quick change of A7 for one measure, D7 for one measure, followed by A7 for two. D7 for 2, A7 for 2. Then remember, the last four measures have a change every measure. E7, D7, A7, E7. So it might seem like a lot at first, but I cannot emphasize enough, this progression is so widespread with, throughout not only the blues, but popular music as well. It's very helpful if you can get this and memorize it and get it down as soon as possible. You're going to keep seeing it reappearing, and it's going to be useful for you throughout all of the years that you play the guitar. So let's give it a try, and I'll uh, call out the chords for you to help you out this first time. All right? So let's do the whole form, quarter notes, downstrokes, starting with A7. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. So we've got A, quick change to D7. Right back to A7 for two measures. D7. Back to A7. Now remember, we've got the chord switching every measure coming up. Starting with E7. D7. A7, and finally, E7. Great. We just made it through the entire 12-bar blues. Excellent. So once you get that down with the quarter notes, you can add a little bit more complexity to your strumming pattern. Check this out. What I'm doing is down, down, up, down, down, up, down. But there's a distinction. Before, when we were doing down, down, up, down, the rhythm was very straight with uh, knocking, uh, the progression based on knocking on heaven's door, which was. Now, that first down of the eighth note is long. Down. So long, short, long, short. All right? So watch out for that. Make sure you don't play it straight. We're going to have a bounce to it. All right? So now let's try the entire 12 bar blues, and I'll call out the chords for you as you're still getting used to this progression. And we're going to use um, this strumming pattern down, 
down, up, down, down, up, and so on. Here we go. One, two, ready, so A7. Quick change, D7. Back to A7. All right, here comes D7. Back to A7. So here comes our change every measure, E7, D7, A7, back to E7. Congratulations, you just made it through the 12-bar blues.